I took a loan of 40 million sefa when I was redeployed from my duty station in Abuja to Lome for the intention of buying a house. I, I had to bring those uh, amount of money to Ghana. I, years back, when the exchange rate was nothing to talk about as compared to today, and I finally ended up getting um, a, an investment of 220,000 Ghana CD. That amount of money, the same 40 million, went beyond 800 plus as of December last year. So even the 220, which I have as nothing, you understand what I'm saying? And uh, at the end of the day, we had to, the government came in, we did some regularization, and I was given 50,000 Ghana CD, and that was the end. I mean, the 40 million sefer, an amount that could have bought me a two bedroom apartment in the UK anywhere in the world. That was how it ended. As I talk to you now, my husband is a retiree and he suffered stroke after this whole, what do you call it, DDEP, whatever, whatever, whatever came into being. And we, as he was right here in the car we from the hospital. You know, when he heard that things were getting better, when the Ministry of Finance promised we were going to pay them, he, he, he became a bit better. Now, the whole of yesterday, he couldn't speak. He couldn't speak. We just from the hospital. Right here is in the car. It's terrible. This is a country which leaders are not caring about. You know, you know, citizenship. Citizens are suffering, and people are just dying day in day out. It's only Ghana that you cannot do investment. It's only Ghana that you cannot do investment. And I believe investment is important thing for everybody. If you know you'll be going on pension, what you have to do is to making sure that you have investment, and this investment will cater for your family, your, your children, and every extended families. It's only Ghana. Only Ghana. Six years ago, we did investment, and this investment has been just closed down, and nothing good is coming out. And we cannot even hear from the government when these monies are going to be paid. People are dying day in, day out to hear stories. Customers are dying, and nobody in the government could tell us anything. 